Hi everyone, this is Ming Yao from Ozen Engineering and in this video I'll start by looking at how to run a basic simulation CFD analysis through a valve. I'm going to drag and drop a SOLIDWORKS assembly into this model. You can see it's a plug valve uh, model and then we're going to do a quick analysis of uh, flow through this valve. So the first thing we need to do is extract the fluid region. I'm going to use space flame for this. Okay, this valve assembly has a few parts. We have the upper housing, lower housing, there's a plug valve, and there's a weld right here. It's a fairly old model, so we've been playing with this for a long time. I'm just going to walk through how we set up this analysis uh, quickly in ANSYS CFD. So the first thing we do need to do is, is, is we need to extract the fluid region. So we use the volume extract. I'm going to select the two surfaces on either side and select one of the surfaces for a flood fill. Hit OK and we have the fluid volume extracted. Okay. The rest of the part we don't need for our simulation purposes. So I'm going to select all of them. Oh to hit escape a few times here and we're going to suppress these for physics. Next we're going to do uh, the actual CFD simulation. So let's uh, go on to meshing. So this is the flow region. We're going to uh, use basically use most of the default options except we want to assign some inflation layer or boundary layer meshing. So the boundary layer will include every surface except inlet and outlet. One of the things that we often do on this model is set some parameters for analysis. So I'll show that a little bit later. Now let's take a look at what the mesh looks like with just all default conditions. Okay, the meshing is done. You can see that the mesh adapt automatically to high curvatured areas and it has fairly coarse mesh on the other side. This makes it uh, very difficult to control the Y plus on the inflation layer. So another way we can uh, adjust the mesh, the inflation layer is to find a first layer thickness or a first layer aspect ratio. So usually I would maybe do something like this and let's take a look at the mesh and how that looks different compared to what I, have, what I have here. Here I have five layers, five inflation layers or four inflation layers that roughly ends up being the size of the uh, free stream mesh. Here I'm going to start with an inflation that has an aspect ratio of 20 initially, so it'll be a fairly thin layer, and then I have 10 layers of that growing away from the walls. Having good inflation layer definition allows us to use the right turbulence models to capture drag and such. So it's done. Let's take a look at the mesh. You know, much more refined elements near the near the walls and we can take a look at the interior of this mesh. And look at how the flow goes around all of the up valve parts. So this is one way of setting up the simulation. If it looks good, let's go ahead and update this model. And uh, we'll go ahead and edit this. So this is uh, this is the, the model here. We're going to I am going to switch the liquid to water. Use our standard shear stress transport turbulence model. Not worry about temperature, combustion, radiation, or electromagnetics. And go ahead and set up a quick simulation. So. We have uh, inlet here. Let's uh, select this phase. Have a one meet, one let's do meter per second flow. And let's put in a outlet over here with a average static pressure increase of, of uh, zero, so it's gauge pressure. And usually I like to increase this to uh, run a few more iterations in case there's convergence 
difficulties. So let's run the simulation back on the solutions page and we can monitor the analysis. I'm going to use a few more cores on my machine and have this run. Okay, the simulation looks like it's not very steady. Uh, perhaps my boundary conditions as a specified them is, uh, is leading to some unsteadiness. So we're going to pause the analysis and take a look at the results. So we can, for example, take a look at the the um, the walls, and let's make this uh, grayish. And we can, for example, make it fairly transparent. Then we can add some streamlines into our flow from the inlet to the outlet. Twenty-five streamlines. To see what it's doing, you can see there's quite a bit of uh, twisting and recirculation in there, and that's probably why this model, especially with a full model, this is unsteady. If we had a, a symmetry model, maybe there's less variation, we may be able to get a more steady, steady state simulation. Um, but whether that's physical or not is very much up for debate. I also put in a uh, coupling, maybe along the XY plane and plot things like uh, pressure and velocity. You can see we're capturing the near wall flows fairly well here with our prism layers. Okay, so that's a quick demonstration of how to set up a simple valve analysis in SSCFD, we can look at things like a pressure drop across the valve as a function of flow rate. We can move the valve body up and down to, uh, to do a parametric analysis and see how, um, how different amount of opening and closing of the, of the valve affects things like shear and flow velocity. Um, I'll, I'll be creating a few more valve simulations to mostly focus on the uh, immersed body method inside of CFX. So that's upcoming. If you like this video, please subscribe. Thank you very much for your attention.